Your behavior is showing her that you're a loser. You're sitting here, oh, this isn't fair, this is not fair, complaining, right? You're not acting, this ain't no alpha male. This is not no alpha male sitting here complaining about everything, right? Complaining that the world ain't fair, right? Bitches don't like you, right? Mighty gang, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy bringing y'all back another video. And today, we're here to talk about the ways Right, the things that you can do to increase your sex appeal, right? If y'all guys haven't been living under a rock, you already know that sex appeal is very important. You must have sex appeal if you're gonna attract these girls sexually. If you want these girls to sleep with you, you gotta have some sort of sex appeal, right? If you don't know, if you didn't know that before, well, now you know. All right, guys. So today we're gonna talk talk about the things that you can do to increase your sex appeal. I got my notes right here. Right, like the video. You know I'm saying share. And subscribe man join the game you already know what it is right guys see for those of y'all who don't know is sex appeal is what makes a girl want to fuck you sleep with you whatever right because see this is the thing you can have a guy that's attractive right and he's good looking he's cute and all that but he has no sex appeal he doesn't display any sex appeal right you know what i'm saying because being physically attractive and sexually attractive are two different things now, can a girl sleep with you just because she's so physically attracted to you? Yes. But in most cases, if you're just attractive and not have any sex appeal at all and you're not sexually attractive, then women aren't going to sleep with you. They're just going to think you're attractive and that's that. Right? That's just what it is, guys. That's, that's really that's the way it works. Right? Because dudes over here on the other end, all it takes is for the girl to, have a, to be cute and have a big old fat ass and you hit. Right, but for girls, it's different. There's a lot of things that has to come with it in order for a girl to sleep with you. And again, a girl can just sleep with you just because she find you so good looking and she's down for you like that. It can happen. But I'm telling y'all, 80% of the time, 80 to 90% of the time, you have to have more than just being good looking. You have to have some sort of sex appeal. So today, right, we're going to talk about how you can get, uh, gain some of that. So let's get into it. Right? First things first, guys, is your mindset. You have to fix your mindset, right? Because I'm telling you all right now, guys, your mindset have a lot to play in this. It all starts in your mind, right? You have to believe you're the shit. You have to believe that you're the top G. You have to believe that you're that guy, right? <sighs> Excuse me. Whenever you're in um, a woman's company, you have to believe in yourself, right? Because if you have the mindset that women don't like you and women don't want to sleep with you then you're going to give off that vibe right you know what i'm saying you have to have the mindset that all women like you all women want to sleep with you and all and all women want to get with you that's the mindset you have to have because then that's the vibe and energy that you're going to give off right and then it'll be easier for uh these women that you're dealing with to get on board you all feel what i'm saying guys you have to have the mindset right you have to believe that you're a winner Right, you can't walk around with your head down, right? Then you're gonna give off the vibe that you're a loser and everybody's gonna think you're a loser. <laughs> right, guys? You know what I'm saying? Mindset is key, right? Make sure this is why I'm always talking about get your mind right, right? Getting your mind right is very important. You know what I'm saying? Because you cannot go to step two and three without getting your mind right. Because my your mind right, your mindset, that is uh the first step to all of this. You feel what I'm saying, guys? So think and believe women wanna sleep with you. And actually think and believe it. You have to say this to yourself all the time. Even when the results are showing otherwise. You must keep saying this to yourself. This is very important, guys. This is very, very important. Right? And the next thing, guys, you can do to increase your sex appeal after mindset is your appearance. Right? Your appearance is very, very important. Right? You know what I'm saying? And by, I mean by your appearance, it's all of it. You know what I'm saying? Your look, the over the, the way you look overall, right? Your physique, your hairstyle, your beard style, the way you dress, right? Everything. It all comes together when it comes to appearance. Right, guys? You know what I'm saying? You have to step up how you look overall. Right? Maybe this could be trying a new haircut, a new beard style, right? Um, you know, getting to the gym right getting your uh po you're getting you're doing back there and getting your posture right so you stand up straight right so you look like a guy who actually believes in himself right all these things go into having sex appeal right i'm saying all these things go into having sex appeal 
right? Because let me let, let, let me tell tell y'all like this, right? You ever be in the gym, right? You see that the girl that that you find really sexy, right? Because that girl's usually wearing some tights that are hiked up all the way up to her breasts, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying, and those skin those tights are skin tight on her, right? She just looks sexy, right? She has sex appeal versus the chick over there who's wearing baggy ass sweatpants and a big old sweater, right? You're like, oh, this girl's not very sexy, right? You don't find this girl very attractive, right? Because she's not displaying any sex appeal, right? It's the same thing for, for us guys too. You have to display sex appeal. If you have that physique like that, right? If you got that physique like that, why not wear um why not wear a tank top? Right? Why not wear that stringer? Right? If you got that physique, wear that stringer. That right there is gonna show sex appeal because it's gonna show your muscles, right? And that you're a fit guy. You feel what I'm saying? Right guys, your overall appearance, you have to step it up. Right, your overall appearance, get some nice shoes, right? The guys, the right pair of shoes can get you laid, right? Get some nice shoes, some nice clothes that fit you right, some pants that fit you right. I'm not talking about like tight clothes to the point where women are gonna start thinking that you gay, right? I'm talking about like clothes that fit you nice, right? You out here with these baggy, I don't know, understand dudes out here wearing these baggy ass pants, these baggy ass shirts. Like, like, like this ain't two, the early 2000s, bro. Looking like 50 cent out here. Right, guys? You have to make sure your clothes fit you on nice. Make sure your clothes fit you nicely. Right? When you wear a shirt, make sure the shirt looks like it's tailored on you. Make sure the shirt looks like it, it was made just for you. Specifically for your you and your build. Right? When you go shopping, make sure the clothes are fitting you right. Don't be buying shit too baggy. Don't be buying shit too tight. Right? Make sure it's just in the middle. Right, guys? And the, the next thing, guys, that will increase your sex appeal is behavior. Oh, no, this one this one's very important. I think this one might be more important than your mindset. Actually, no, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense. Because in order to have the behavior traits, you have to have your mindset right first. Right? You have to my, have your mindset at a, at a good point right? in order to master the behavior traits. Right? Because it is coming from your, your mind, ain't it? Right, y'all? So behavior traits. Right? This is how you act, right? How you move, what you do, right? The way you react. All goes into your behavior check. This is like the alpha male versus the the beta male. Right? This is where we get into that situation. Right? Your behavior makes her feel some type of way where she finds you sexy. Right? Or her, your behavior can make her feel some type of way she doesn't find you attractive. Right? Because y'all have to remember guys, it's about feelings for women. It's all about feelings. Right, you know what I'm saying you're sitting here being a crybaby, right, complaining about everything, right? She's gonna make you, you're gonna make her feel like you're a loser, right? You know what I'm saying? Your behavior is showing her that you're a loser. You're sitting here, oh, this isn't fair, this is not fair, complaining, right? You're not acting, this ain't no alpha male. This is not no alpha male sitting here complaining about everything, right? Complaining that the world ain't fair, right? Bitches don't like you, right? You gotta be at abundance mindset, right? This is all your behavior, how you react to things, right? I'm not gonna get into detail into this shit because that's the shit I can't say on YouTube, right? But guys, your behavior is a big part of sex appeal, right? Are you able to say no, right? How are you able to deal with rejection, right? Are you, do you go after what you want? Do you take disrespect, right? All these things go into your behavior, all of it does, right? But see, the, the main thing is your mindset, right? How you dress, how you carry yourself, your appearance, all that starts with your mind. You have to first love yourself, right? And your behavior, you have to first respect yourself in order to behave accordingly. In order to behave like a guy who loves and respect himself, you have to, and like in your mind, have it that I love myself, right? I ain't gonna, let, uh, I ain't gonna settle for less, right, guys? All these things, man, are what create sex appeal. All these things is what's gonna make you sexually attractive to women, right? It's not all about having the muscles and the, you know, having a chiseled jawline. All that stuff is good for physical attraction, which can, which in some, some, sometimes can be good too, right? But you also need sex appeal. You also need to be sexually attractive, right? For example, being assertive, going after what you want, going up to that girl. And approaching her with a boatload of confidence. That is sex appeal. 
right? That is sex appeal because you're being assertive, you're taking action, right? And also leading. Leading is a big sex appeal. Leading shows a lot of sex appeal, a lot, right? Guiding and protecting a woman, all that shows a lot of sex appeal, right, guys? So yeah, man, that's what sex appeal is, guys. It's more than just your look. It's way more than just look. It's a combination of all of it. Your look matters too. Don't get what I'm saying wrong. But it's a combination of all of it. All together. Put in one package. Right, y'all? Because, see, this is the thing. One might be dominate in one area than the other. Right? You might have the looks, but you don't have the behavior and the mindset. Right? But you, or you might have the behavior and the mindset, but you don't necessarily have the look. Right? You have to have all of it and tie it all together. Right, y'all? So, yeah, man, that's all I had to say today, man. Yeah, man, you gotta work on yourself, right? In order to gain sex appeal, you just have to work on yourself and become the best version of yourself day by day, and it'll come, right, y'all? So, spell your boy, man. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here, man. Peace.